Every morning before their shifts at a Kojima construction site, workers check their vital signs. All it takes is a 45-second scan of their faces using an app developed by Singapore startup Novatech. The app takes note of heart rate, oxygen levels, respiration rate and even stress levels using artificial intelligence-based technology. So, how does it work? The Nervatech app uses remote photoplethysmography and AI to capture and analyze the user's vitals. The smartphone camera measures the differences in the reflectivity of light that hits the user's skin, which corresponds to the different pulse rates of the body. Computer vision and predictive analysis AI then monitor the user's face and conclude the readings for their vital signs. Here's Nervatech founder Jonathan Lau. What we do is we use the, the the white light that is now reflecting off my face. We apply smart computer vision techniques to first identify the face, then filter this white light into the channels that we're interested in, and then deriving the vital signs from those channels. Kojima has been using Nervatech's app at its work sites in Singapore since December 2020 to complement daily temperature screenings. It's part of a government-initiated program which provides companies with technology still in their trial stages to help them adjust to the new norms. Kojima's senior manager, Tan Ki Chown, says the Nervatech app is his company's first line of defence against another health crisis. Um, the application acts as a first line of defence by scanning the workers just by using the handphone. It is very convenient provided that the worker adhere to this scanning on a daily basis. So we do have our own temperature monitoring system installed as a second line of defence uh, to reject all the personnel who are deemed unfit for work. Similar apps that utilise smartphone cameras to scan users' vital signs do exist, but Nervatech claims that its technology goes one step further by using the data to offer a diagnosis of the user's health condition. Professor Chi Tech Lim is the director of the National University of Singapore's Institute of Health Innovation and Technology. So what Novatech is uh, proposing is, uh, could be potentially game a game changer. Uh, they are trying to use the smartphone camera coupled with an AI-driven app uh, to capture an image of the face and then thereafter be able to measure the vital signs. Uh, so currently, I think um, they claim that they can uh, obtain accuracy uh, of down to two, uh, two uh, beats per minute uh, for heart rate and also uh, two percentage in terms of oxygen saturation. Uh, but it remains to be seen. I think we still have to go through this uh, FDA regulatory uh, test uh, before we uh, can determine how accurate this uh, technology is. On our system and SpO2 is on point. The app is still under review, but Lau said there is a significant interest in the technology. We, we see the most traction coming from uh, healthcare providers, both private and public, uh, more from than the authorities, because the ability to do, use RPPG and to, to have constant remote patient monitoring without the need for additional manpower or equipment is really a, a big problem solver for a lot of healthcare providers globally.